This is the very first video uh, about Cypher, uh, the primary query language um, for Neo4j. Uh, so in this short demo, I'll try to present some of the uh, basic Cypher statements so that we can um, query the database and retrieve some of the data um, within the Doctor Who database. Now I've seen the importing process of um, Doctor Who database from Neo4j's website. So you can go back and see one of the previous videos um, about importing database. So Cypher is mainly about uh, pattern matching. Uh, and you write a Cypher statement, you basically provide a pattern to Neo4j and you ask Neo4j to match that pattern from the given database, inside the given database, and then try to return um, our desired results. So the most basic pattern, now this is um, a console, which I've shown you in one of the previous uh, videos, and here you can write um, Cypher. Um, so the most basic um, pattern is something like this opening and closing parentheses and this pattern highlights any node within the database um, we are just uh, interested in a node not just a node but in any of the nodes in the database but this is not being sent to Neo4j at the moment um, because with the pattern we would like to give an instruction explicitly to Neo4j that we want this pattern to be matched so for that we'll have to write explicitly match and now we are asking Neo4j to match this pattern but matching a pattern is not all what we need what we need is that we want Neo4j to match this pattern and return us some kind of results. So we explicitly state a return clause. <clears throat> now another important concept uh, is the concept of variables in Cypher. Um, right now we can't return anything because we haven't got any variables associated with the pattern. So we can provide a variable and the variable is n and what we can do is that in our return statement we can also specify the same variable and now what we mean by this statement is that match this pattern which is any node um, and then return us all those nodes now Doctor Who database has a huge collection of nodes um, and we don't want um, our database to result all the nodes because it's going to take a whole lot of time to return all the nodes so what we can do is we can limit our query by limit clause and say something like 25 and what that will do is that will uh, limit, limit the result set by 25 meaning that it will only return uh, the top 25 nodes which it will find so now with that query set in place, we can execute this query and I'll press this play button. And now we can see that we have got the results set in the form of a graph. So it's not considering all the nodes, uh, but only um, the top 25 row nodes which it has found um, based on the pattern we've provided to it in the first instance. And this pattern is just a node. We can also see this uh, output in the form of uh, a table. So in tabular format, we can see the results over here. So this is the first node, which has a property of character. Uh, in fact, this is the first node. And the first node doesn't have any property. That's why we've got an empty over here but the second node and third node and uh, further on all the nodes have properties 
and the second node has a property character the third one has a property species the fourth one is has a property character with the value of row styler and this fifth node has two properties character and wikipedia and you can see the respective values so you can see the result set um, and these are basically the 25 uh, nodes which it has returned based on our query if i go back to the graph we can see that it is returning us these relationships as well and the reason why it is trying to return these relationships is we call this autocomplete on so what it is doing is it is not only returning us um, the nodes which we um, were, were interested in it is returning us the nodes but not only the nodes but due to this autocomplete it is also trying to complete the relationship of these nodes uh, by displaying the the relationships so if we turn the, these this autocomplete off now we are not seeing any of these relationships because uh, in our query we were only interested in the nodes so that is pretty much it for this video i just try to keep it concise and uh, i just try to keep it a very very simple just a bit of a feeder of cipher uh, statements uh, but in the next videos i'll try to demonst demonstrate something a bit more complex and a bit more interesting